Hi folks, Mac from HTC Evo Hex. Uh, dot com. I've got a quick ROM overview of uh, Xylon ROM, and uh, this is actually a pretty darn cool ROM. Uh, it has a mix of a lot of things, and let me show you. It is a Xylon ROM. Don't forget to donate to uh, the developers here and follow them on Twitter, of course. Uh, let me show you some of the features here. It's an Android 4.2.2 ROM, and the Xylon ROM, uh, it is... A ROM built with a lot of things uh, baked in, which is really nice. And uh, as some of you know, Paranoid Android ROM, um, the latest version, isn't available for the Evo 4 GLT. Now, with the Xylon ROM, uh, this is this will give you the hey little notifications there, um, so you can go ahead and uh, swipe up to get rid of notifications. And also, if you want, you can swipe down, so go away. Um, this is a great way to take care of your notifications. And also, if you don't want it, you can get rid of it. Anytime you need it, simply hit that button. And you've got the Halo notifications, uh, which is really nice. And also, it supports multiple uh, messaging, so very nice. I've got it running on my Note 2 Paranoid Android. Uh, but this is even better than Paranoid Android ROM, in my opinion. Um, because Paranoid Android, you get to run your favorite apps in uh, whoops, in tablet or phone mode. Now, with this ROM, you'll get this thing called U2. Um, that allows you to customize a lot of things like your lock screen, just like an AOKP ROM. I have a full tutorial on that, by the way. Um, so it is very nice because you get the full ROM control settings here. Uh, there we go. Let me go back here. Um, go to U tool here, and you'll be able to change your lock screen. I'm going to swipe left, navigation bar, and also navigation ring. Uh, all of this stuff, even Pi Launcher if you want it. Um, so you get the full ROM control options from an AOKP ROM while uh, having all of the properties of the uh, Paranoid Android ROM. This isn't exactly Paranoid Android ROM. Uh, for example, um, it uses actually uh, DPI groups where you can set your favorite apps. 320 DPI is probably the default. Um, it is the default DPI. So you can, I put my Gmail there and also you can do it per, per app basis here also. So slightly different from Paranoid Android how they implement it. Uh, but it's pretty much, you know, gives you the same things. And other than that, it's a pretty nice ROM. The camera working flawless here, and the video camera working very well. Um, so definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week for the Evo 4 GLTE. You can be running on the latest bleeding edge of Android 4.2.2 uh, with Paranoid Android's Halo option. And also you can use this Halo app to add your favorite applications to run uh, on top of any other app as an overlay, let's say Gmail, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and hit play. And what that will do is if you do have your Halo notifications on, you'll be able to select your Gmail and it'll run on top of any apps. So let's say you're on browser, you want to check out uh, your Gmail real quick, it'll go right on top of it. So that is very nice and you can go right back to browsing the web. Um, so very nice features with the Xylem ROM. And actually, this is one of the best hybrid ROMs I've seen right now. Uh, you know, there's ROMs like Pac-Man ROM, uh, which which is pretty much like this, uh, but they haven't. They still haven't implemented a lot of the ported versions. They haven't implemented the Halo feature, but especially for the Evo 4G LTE, there's not enough hybrid ROMs. But this one, very solid. Uh, so check it out for this week's ROM of the week. And do let me know what you think. And as always, if you have an Evo 4G LTE, don't forget to sign up for my email list at hccevohacks.com. We update you uh, about once a month now um, with ROM of the week, ROM of the month, um, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me down here. Subscribe button down there. And I'll see you guys soon. Stay high on Android. Uh.